Agenda item 16 is a presentation for, from Boys and Girls Clubs of Henderson on direction of Youth Center in Mesquite. Uh, this is Councilman Withhelder as the petitioner. Would you like to make a comment, sir? Yeah, thank you, Your Honor. Yeah, I would like to introduce Mr. Ken Riboli, who is the CEO of Boys and Girls Club of Henderson. Uh, we had a brief meeting with him a couple of, oh, about six weeks ago, and he was very informative, and due to the fact that we are currently in the process of trying to put something together, I thought it would be uh, great to get another opinion, and uh, Mr. Riboli, it's all yours. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Mayor, City Council, and residents of Mesquite. Uh, my name is Ken Rubley. I'm the Executive Director of Boys and Girls Club of Henderson. A uh, little history about who we are. Uh, we were started 56 years ago, and uh, we operate youth centers all throughout the valley, not just in Henderson, but also in uh, Summerlin, North Las Vegas, Las Vegas. Um, our youth centers are anything from 1,500 square feet in size up to 30,000 square feet in size. Most of our centers are open from 6.30 in the morning until 8.30 at night. So we're pretty much the perfect place for a working parent and for places for kids to go both before school and after school. Some clubs are just open in the afternoon. Um, about us recently, uh, two years ago, we operated out of five locations. We now operate out of 10 locations. So we've doubled in size in a very difficult economy while not incurring any debt or running up any deficits, which is, which is quite amazing and a testament to um, our board of directors. Um, our growth has been so strong and so fiscally well done that we're going to be merging with uh, the Las Vegas Boys and Girls Club, which are bigger than we are, but we will be the leadership entity, and that will be happening this summer. So we wanted to come up and talk to you about what we've been able to do in what I would call boutique locations. So side locations that are five, 6,000 square feet in size, even two, 3,000 square feet in size. And, and what makes us unique and, and affordable is we partner with folks. And I'm gonna give a great example. We opened a new club earlier this year um, in a low income housing um, community, a little 3,000 square foot building. And the partner that owns that building agreed to pay a third of our operating expenses. And then the additional money we've raised through leveraging our national brand. So for example, I automatically get money from Tupperware. I automatically get money from Taco Bell to help with team programs, for example. So we're able to go in and for a small amount of money from a partnership, really leverage that up through our brand. And the club I'm talking about, um, we named it the Natalie Golbis Boys and Girls Club. And if anyone plays golf, um, um, she's an LPGA golfer, she's very popular, and she's passionate about the Boys and Girls Club. So we named the club after her, and right now she's got birdies for the Boys and Girls Club. So every time she gets a birdie, she donates $100 to the club. And she's a pretty decent golfer, so she generally gets about 10 birdies a week when she's on tour. But looking at how the leverage and the brand works, once Natalie signed up to be involved in that Boys and Girls Club, now her sponsors were endeared to us, and her sponsors were endeared to her cause. So now they're coming in and helping support and uh, generate dollars for us. So we're, we're fortunate to have a brand in which we can leverage and take partnership money, and another partnership we have is with the city of Henderson. And again, right now we operate 10 locations. Only four are in, are in the city of Henderson. We've Again, we've grown outside of Henderson. Um, but we have a partnership with the city of Henderson where they allow us to operate in one of their facilities for, for rent-free. And then we get a community development block grant that helps fund us a bit. And then we leverage it up. So for example, last weekend we had a big fundraiser at M Resort, your typical auction. As a matter of fact, we had some getaways to Mesquite in our, as one of our auction packages. But in that auction, we raised two hundred sixty thousand dollars, which then helps fund, which is pretty good for for an auction, which helps fund our operations. Um, sticking with Natalie Golbus, we have the Natalie Golbus Golf Classic that raises eighty five thousand. So, we, despite our name, we 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 want to be wherever there's a need for kids to go after school. I'm a product of the Boys and Girls Club. I grew up going there. Um, I was a Youth of the Year when I was seventeen. I, I deviated to Wall Street for a while and got spent time at Bear Stearns and Enron among places, but then came back and have passionately been running our organization in a very fiscally responsible way. And uh, you know, one of the things we do, we work great with young kids, but when it comes to teams, we truly save teams' lives. Um, we, we believe that teams need something to do after school, they need something to do on the weekends. So for example, after football games on Fridays, we have big parties at our clubs afterwards, so kids have some place to go and be productive. <coughs> and then, a program we're real proud of 
is our counselor in training. So we take our teens that come to us after school, and in the summertime, they become junior counselors and help with the little kids. So they get paid a small stipend. It's not big money, but it builds self-esteem because now they're doing something and, and helping out that way. Um, and then the other thing that we like about our program is every one of our clubs, Monday through Thursdays, has professional tutors. And those are certified teachers. And it's done, again, through a partnership. It's another nonprofit that sits on our board that provides funding. So I just kind of wanted to give everyone kind of an overview of really what a Boys and Girls Club is all about and how it's really a powerful partnership where we're able to leverage our brand and really do great things. So thank you. Any questions? Council, Council Morrison. Uh, quickly, uh, in Mesquite, being a, a sort of what you would call a boutique market, um, without a uh, star athletic personality to, to fund this and receive this, how do you how do you perceive the funding mechanism and fees charged to the to the youth that participate or the families of the youth that participate? I mean, we're not, I know this is a very detailed business plan that. that Provided, but just a high level, maybe. I mean, I think just to break it down simplistically, if in a boutique model where we're operating in an after school model, where we operate when schools are closed, so all day in the summertime, days when kids are out of school, so it's an, it's, it's an after school and an all day program in the summertime, that generally costs us $90,000 a year to run. So, for example, if the city were to come in with a $30,000, $40,000 commitment, that additional difference, we would look to raise 15,000 locally through maybe a local golf event here. So maybe we have Natalie come up here and host one of her golf events up here. So we look to generate 15,000 or so there. So now we're at, call it 45 or 50,000 through our national brand partnerships with Tupperware, Taco Bell, you know, that's an additional 20,000. And then the balance we would look to raise through very modest fees to the, uh, to the youth who would attend. And what uh, what would be the typical service profile? What what activities would be and things would be in this facility? Sure. So every day, Monday through Thursday, we don't make them do it on Friday, but we call it Power Hour, which is the organized tutoring. So every single kid, regardless of age, has to be a part of that program. And even if it's a six-year-old and doesn't have much homework, they're going to be doing word searches. They're going to be doing something academic during that time. We also have. Um, computer time, so we have organized computer time that goes on. We would look to partner with the city on sports leagues because we do a pretty good job of running um, our own athletic leagues, but we would look to partner and bolster uh, that activity here. Um, and a typical games room, you take a big room and you have your foosball, your pool, and, and whatnot. Um, but we're highly organized, so we're taking our CAN programs that are provided to us. I'm kind of like a McDonald's franchise. I can go and say, I want to serve this product today, and I can go to my national and say, we want to focus on um, Keystone, which is a leadership group for teams. So it's going to be dependent on age, but highly structured activities. It's not just go play in a room. Very nice, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, can, typically, what what would a family or a child pay for um, attending uh, a club on, on, a, on a scheduled basis? Is there do you have a, a set type fee, or is it based on families or kids, or or how is it structured? Sure. Um, the the annual membership to be a member is twenty dollars a year, and that covers basically the cost to put them on our insurance. And then depending on the market we're in and the access to grant dollars will dictate the fee. So some of our markets, the kids literally pay nothing beyond the $20 a year. And on the extreme opposite end would be Southern Highlands, which is a very affluent um, community in which in the summer times the kid would, kids would pay upwards of $100 a week um, because there's no access to any government dollars there. But in a market like this, I would say in the summertime you're looking at a $30, $35 a week fee. And then during the summertime, I'm sorry, during the school year, that fee would probably be in the $30 to $40 a month. And it would be dependent on transportation too. So if we're having vans, pick the kids from up from school and bring them over. Ideally, we'd want buses, but um, that could dictate a little bit as to where the fees would go. Thank you. 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 Thank you.